I, I can't imagine my life now without boxing. As soon as I come out of school, it was done as a, as a career for me. My mum was telling me that I needed to stick with something when I, when I was younger. She, she wanted me to commit to something and not just jump ship when things weren't easy. Yeah, I, wanna, I didn't enjoy school too much. Um, I wasn't particularly like, misbehaved or anything, but like, you, then again, you still, like I had to do, like everyone has to do, you still have to you know, get on in, in school and, and try the best you can. As a kid, I used to just love playing sports, love being out and about. Obviously, I've got into trouble, and as soon as you get into any sort of trouble with the police, your life can go down a different path. So, the boxing was good just for the discipline side of it, and just to burn me out a little bit, waste some energy and stuff. It was the same year as Commonwealth Games, um, so I was still in school at the time as well. I, I went on to a GB trial the same year, didn't get on. Um, so I was really disheartened by that. I would have probably put me on the path of, of quitting. Um, so I entered the World Championships. Basically, whoever won the World Championships was going to go to a Commonwealth Games. And that was, for me, the turning point, whether I was going to do boxing as a job, a career, or I'd have probably just packed in and probably just got a normal 9 to 5 job, like, you know. So um, I won that fight, went to the 2010 Commonwealth Games, won a gold medal there. And then um, soon, as soon as I won that fight, it just changed my life, basically. And that's why I do boxing as a career now. You have to go through hard situations in, in anything you do. And I think in the end, you know, more often than not, you are going to get through it. When I was 17, a couple of boys started getting pro contracts and I was about to quit because I was training so, so hard. And it was really hard for me to watch. The academy manager pushed me to stay, but that was a time I was real close to, to giving up after so many years of working hard and it turns out that it's just so lucky that I didn't quit because it was only a few weeks down the line that I reaped the rewards. When you're growing up or whatever, there's obviously no like monetary uh, incentive. So like, Obviously, it's a couple of times you think, oh, I can't be able to go train, I can't be able to do this. You've got to think, oh, look, seeing how how your family enjoy it and like get so much pride from it, it was like not wanting to let them down or you know wanting to give them something to be proud of kind of thing. When I was younger and I first went pro and I put myself under so much pressure to do well and I just started making stupid mistakes that I'd never have made playing for my club. But once I got really ill, and it was quite a big game and, and I really couldn't care. I had food poisoning, I was in this terrible state. And I didn't get anxious and I didn't get uptight about it. And I went out and I had a stormer, even though I was like on death's door. I thought, oh my God, what have I been getting so uptight about and so nervous and so from there really, I've, I've just tried taking away the pressure that I put on myself. Like the most important thing to me is if my family and friends are proud of me for doing what I'm doing, then, then that's all I need, really. I think sport's massive in just getting kids just to engage with people and forget like inhibitions and stuff. For, for kids today, the more opportunities they've got, the better. Without funding, obviously, none of what the lads have said doesn't happen, like, you know, so obviously things are positive futures and new ball live or all, all that it, it all needs it all needs to be funded like it does a lot for children who are from less privileged backgrounds and, and i've seen that firsthand you know with them kids more opportunities they've got the less likely they are to go into crime and then temptations of doing something else become less We made a lot of sacrifices for our lives, it's not just now as we're older. Like when, when it boils down to it and you yeah. reap the rewards of going to training and working hard, like those nights out on the street, like you're not really missing anything, do you know what I mean? But then when you get to the moment where you have, like the reason why you haven't gone out is to like play a game or you've got a big fight and then you do achieve that, 
you're thinking, oh, right, yeah, it was, it was worth it.